everybody. So for today, I'm gonna share the walkthrough of this journal. If you've been around here a while, you know that I started this project a long time ago, um, right after these journals came out on Persnickety Prints. Um, she took some of Allie Edwards' free brushes and made this cover, and I knew that I wanted to document our time at home. I didn't know how long I was going to do the journal, but I knew I wanted to do at least a couple months. And that is basically all that can fit in here, and then I go into summer. Um, so I am going to give you a walkthrough of this album, and I hope you guys enjoy it. So here we go. Open with some timelines, and I just need to print April and May. And then... I just have some Tracy Reed um, stickers that I made and Persnickety Prints um, free printables. And then I go right into talking about school being closed and I didn't know why, what I wanted to title this. I just left it blank. This is a Shannon template. I will leave her shop. Um, and I just did a little collage of our first weekend at home. And then I talked about how we finally got outside that weekend, um, cause I probably mentioned this in a different video, but it's like when it rains, it pours that saying, well, literally our life came to a standstill as I'm sure many, many people's life came to a standstill. But for us also that whole weekend it rained. We had not had rain in months and this, this weekend it just poured and poured. So when we finally got outside, we just were dancing in puddles, collecting worms, big smiles. And so I had to document that. Use Coco Daisy for this. Memes are life. I de they definitely helped me get through the year and I saved a million of them and I documented them for every single month in this album. These were the first ones for March and I just used some Crafty Gen Scow stamps to document it. Messy stamping and kind of a collage. This one is from when I was realizing that I'm gonna need to do some self-care and can't look like a couch potato every single day. So um, I documented that and then a quote that I found. I documented another walk and used some more Crafty Gen Scow stamps and then some Tracy Reed papers. This is our first holiday at home, St. Patrick's Day. We all dressed in green. We actually got to go to the park and um, I just did a fun little collage with Coco Daisy and I really like how it came out. We quickly learned that going on walks, even if it was a little bit, it was sprinkling outside, definitely was a game changer for our day. So we did that. This day we actually walked two miles total and it, it's, it was essential to how we got through the days, going outside. Okay, this next one is really special to me and I was on Instagram stories as I am many, many days and I asked people, I put a little box and I said, what brings you joy? And I had so many awesome responses I had to document it. And I went with a rainbow theme and just some stamping and lots of alphabet. Because it was a journal style project, I did not worry about whether or not things would look necessarily aesthetically pleasing. I didn't worry about you know, perfect design and I didn't worry about perfect stamping. I just wanted to document our lives and little stories that made up our lives during this time. Okay, and then this next page is creative time and kind of documenting um, my creative time and kind of how it changed. This is actually a first project I did with Everyday Explorers Co. Christine's shop and I just had so much fun making this. I took one of Morgan Harper Nicholas's uh, free screenshot quotes. She puts them on Instagram stories and I just use those and then a little piece left over. So another collage again. And then this one, I just, I tried to get a picture of me on our walk and I kind of look like a Harry Potter Dementor. So um, <laughs> I was just joking with my kids. You gotta get moving, we gotta get outside. And then this I saw somewhere floating around Instagram, so I wrote down the 10 things that made me happy and I just stuck it in there. This is another Tracy Reed stay at home project. One of the things that really got me through the long, long days with kids is knowing I get to watch TV with hubby at the end of the day. So I took a picture of him and he took a picture of me and I just used, I got to use the couch and I just, I love it. I love this little page. 
I saw a quote. These are just some quotes and a podcast I listened to and just added those in. This is an everyday collage that I made with a bunch of Kelly stamps. And like I said, they are not perfect, but you know what? Doesn't matter. So I just added in little bits and pieces of my everyday life for March. So this is the end of March and I'm just talking about the, the president maybe sending payments to us or at the time it was a maybe and then the numbers in California. This was another Everyday Explorers project. It starts off April and how I took this fun selfie and just kind of telling myself that I could do this. And I did do it, right? <laughs> I'm still going with staying home with my kids. And we are going into month 11, I believe. This one was really, really fun. I made, I took one of my giant acrylic blocks and I just made this pattern and decided to just stamp it there and there. And then of course to use some butterflies. And then once again, use some Instagram quotes that I had um, taken. And then also this bingo I found as well. This was a day where I was so exhausted, I just could not move past the exhausted crap mood. So <laughs> I decided to document it with some Kelly Stamps. Um, and this was for Kelly Stamps new release back in April. This is my April memes and I used Everyday Explorers Co. And I just, like I said earlier, memes are everything. They're hilarious. I mean, I just, they're just so fun. So I stamped with some paper and cut out some things and just made a fun collage. Do you remember a long time ago those smash books? That's what this kind of reminded me of. The simple story smash books that you used to just basically smash a bunch of stuff into the book. So that's what this reminds me of. So in March I did two smaller stories about my husband and so I decided to continue that theme. And so this one I just talked about his birthday and how he had to work so I kept sending him funny memes throughout the day. And like this one, the old people and she's grabbing his rear. <laughs> so I just, I think it's so fun to send him memes. And then this one was just talking about how he's the one that has to go get groceries and be the gopher and go get stuff. And then he also recycles, so he had to keep all the recycling because those closed down as well. So I just journaled about that with Everyday Explorers. Another Kelly Stamps project, showers became very exciting <laughs> and a great way to like reset the day or give me like a boost of energy. So I documented that, like I said, with Kelly Stamps. This is another Coco Daisy and I documented how we got outside during the month of April. Some bike rides for me, um, a park, walks around the neighborhood. And this was the point at which my kids were playing in the front yard a lot. So I just walked up and down the sidewalk, up and down. <laughs> this was before I started my YouTube workouts. These are two Instagram stories. I just, um, since the journaling was already here, I decided to include it and it made it really fun to do just a rainbow. Same thing with this. If you take a screenshot of your Instagram stories and you have it in your camera roll and then you bring it to your computer, it actually is a big resolution. So I was able to print this big and not have it be poor resolution. So I went with pink and black and I just did a bunch of stamps right there with Everyday Explorers. Coco Daisy, this is creative, and I did a bunch of cir circles and scallops and um, just documented how things were going for me. In April, I also tried doing a desk in my, my room, that way I could get some quiet, and that did help a little bit. This one is um, just documenting Instagram stories. I was on Instagram stories a lot in April, just kind of documenting day-to-day -day life and I, I usually put a quote in and um, I just had to document that so then this one is another self-care one and I just paired it with a photo and then a quote and added in a bunch of crafty gen scow stamps and then this one was um, inspired by there is good in store I think it's MJ she said to make a list of all the good stuff from the day so I did that and I printed it out made some fun stamped circles, and just put it in there, a little story. 
This one is April Every Day, and I use Coco Daisy, and I use once again, several photos from my Instagram, and um, made a collage. So really fun, and I really like how it came out. Everybody did gardening during the stay at home, right? I, I think everybody did, and we did as well, and so I took the Instagram stories um, and printed those, and then just used the Plant Lady stamp set. Same thing here, Instagram story, and then I just put a bunch of rainbow stamp sentiments there. It made this project so much fun and easier to kind of use my social media and to use um, the technology and kind of bring it together in this scrapbook. Oh, distance learning. Probably the hardest part of staying home is distance learning. So I had to document that. I had stood up on the table and this was all of our stuff. My daughter's here, my son's over here, and I'm kind of usually in the middle and it's a mess. But we make it work and we get it done. So I just had to document that. And I used a bunch of stamps from Everyday Explorers Co. And it, her, it is her um, school set. I forget the name, but if it's still available, I will leave a link. All right, so this is the start of May and I went super fancy. I actually have a process video for this page. I used Everyday Explorers Co. and used a stamp set from Life Story Market, which is uh, Felicia Tess's shop. She was a guest for this stamp set. And I used my mixed media paper and I documented what I had shared on Instagram stories about how life was going basically at two and a half months with uh, staying staying home so got that story in okay so these were all the rage on Facebook I don't remember what they were called I think it's like the avatars so I just screenshotted what I had and made a really fun grid and used washi tape too so that was fun this is another little things list and I think there's a bunch of spelling errors in there but I don't care so I just put it in there and for this one, I used Kelly Stamps, and I was so excited to use this bright green color, which I never get to use. So, another collage for movement. This is also the time when I was doing a lot of workouts out on the porch while my kids did their recess and more sidewalk laps. So this is just Everyday Explorers. Again, I used a lot of stamps in this project, made it very simple and fun. Um, cause I could, like I said, I could get messy if I wanted to with stamps and I could just practice using my stamps in different ways. This one is Crafty Jen Scow. And once again, I had a lot of fun with the leaves and the flowers. This is one of her newer stamp sets on my heart and I use stars and then I use some chipboard for that one. I made a chipboard for this one as well. So just two little stories, a quote I found, and then enjoying an ice cream outside. Every day, this is the everyday one. I just posted a process video for this one. Lots of fun stamping and a fun color scheme for May. I had several photos of my husband and I because it was Week in the Life, an Allie Edwards project. And so I decided to use those to document my husband and things that I'm grateful for. He is an essential worker and um, he goes out every day. Um, and so he's never stopped working during this time. And so I'm just grateful that he um, and I work together as a team. This one's all about yard work and I just documented what we did on a Saturday. And of course had to use a bunch of greenery stamps again. May memes, I used Crafty Jen Scow stamps from the first month. I thought I would repeat it for some continuity. This one's probably my favorite. If 2020 was a bag of chips, orange juice and toothpaste. So there you go. And then the last one, I used Tracy Reed stay at home and then another quote that I had found and I just talked about where we're at for the two and a half months. And that is it for this journal. It's literally... So it's literally bursting at the seams, but I think I captured a really good start of our stay at home. Um, and then we go into summer. So I hope you guys enjoyed this detailed walkthrough and I would love a thumbs up or a subscribe. If you are new to my channel, I wanna keep seeing my videos. All right, have a great day.